Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. So in the channel, I talk more about the data science and related technology kind of stuff. So if you are down to that, uh, please check out my channel. And there are a lot of good videos you can find out. So this particular video is a continuation of a series of videos of Python and Julia comparison. So in the earlier three videos, you can see that I have compared the numbers I have compared the uh, the variables declaration basically and the strings basic of Python and Julia and this video basically the next part of the string operations so in this video we will talk about the uh, indexing and slicing uh, between the Python and Julia programming languages for string so so let's get started so you can see there are two collab notebooks basically this one is the python notebook and this one is the julia notebook uh, you will get the link of those notebooks in the description of the video so over there you can just check out what are the things i have done i will show in the video so you can see that i have declared in the python notebook this is a my string one variable and that is equals to hello world string so this is basically the string in python so if i run this particular cell you can see that uh, it has been assigned and if i just create a new cell and i just call this particular variable my string and paste it over here and if i just run it you can see that uh, you can see the string basically the hello world so the question is that the indexing and slicing means how do you retrieve the information from those from the hello world or the string or any kind of data type like array sets uh, dictionary or anything in python so in python indexing start at zero so i have uh, written it over here so in python uh, you can see that uh, i have written the hello world and i have given for python and both julia the, what is the indexing is all about so over here uh, age indexing is zero and e index is one so in this way it is going forward like e is one l is two l is three zero o is four and the space is five w is six o is seven r is eight in this way it is going forward but for the julia it start with one like you can see that it start one then two then three then four it's just normal way the julia works basically so that is the one difference between julia and python programming language so i'll just show the same thing over here so you can see that in string if i just uh, like my string if i just give zero over here and if i just call it you can see that h is coming so h basically the first h is zero which i have shown over here h is zero and so suppose i just like to see the uh, four four means o so if i just give four over here instead of eight and if i just run this one you can see the o so i've got the o over here is o similar to that if i give 10 then i'll get d so if i get 10 and if i run this one i'll get d so this is the python indexing and for julia if i apply the same logic so if i just copy this portion and paste it in julia notebook sorry okay in julia notebook uh, okay so i have already copied it here so again i paste it and if i run this one you can see the same same sort of thing same thing like python but in julia now I can see that uh, indexing start at 1 so if I just give over here 1 and if I run this cell you can see H is coming so H is coming and after that if I suppose I want um, suppose I want the O the same thing so in that case I have to use 5 instead of 4 so I'll just give over here 5 and if I run this one, oh, I get the same. The same thing I would do uh, for I think D. Over there in Python, I've used the 10, and now I'm going to use the 11. 
so I just copy this one and I just paste it here and I'll just give over here 11 and if I run this particular cell you can see D is coming so these are the similarities between Python and Julia the only difference over here is that it starts with uh, Julia starts with 1 and uh, like Python starts starts with 0 so that's the one difference so now let's talk about the uh, like slicing so what did, what do you mean by the slicing so for size slicing what I have to do is that uh, just I'm giving to an example so for slicing python have a uh, particular structure like over here you can see like start then stop then step basically so start stop and step so if i just follow this particular format for any data type you can see so if i just copy it and paste it over here <coughs> excuse me so i can show you so suppose i want in hello world i want the first hello only so index of hello h is zero then zero one two three four okay five so space uh, index is five so what happened is that in python if you want to retrieve hello from there what you have to give it start would be zero okay start would be zero then you just give the colon and then stop would be the next index of the uh, required index so basically over here the required index is o then i have to give the index of space basically to retrieve that so so you have to give one uh, one step uh, like higher compared to the required index so over here the so this one is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I have to give 5 okay so if I just run this particular cell you can see I get the hello but if I just uh, give 4 over here instead of 5 what will happen just see that this hello so <laughs> We don't need that. So basically, this is the thing. So you have to just give the five, and we'll get the result. And part now the step part is, you have to mention the step. So over here, the default step is one basically. So one step is going every every way. So if I give one, so you'll get the same result over here. So you'll get the same result but if i give uh, step is 2 just see that and if i just run this particular cell you can see hlo two step so what that what that mean basically so h one step gone second step l one step gone second step is o so in that way it just keep one steps like it just go two steps to give the next uh, like output basically so in this way you can uh, get the slice of a data structure or um, any data type in python basically so this is the for python and for julia also you can do the same thing uh, i'm just showing you this is the julia notebook so in the julia notebook uh, if i want hello what i have to do is that i just copy this one i think okay just copy this one and uh, i'll just give the parenthesis like third packet and now i just give one so it starts with one as you have seen already so i just give one and then gives the end but in Python in julia what the difference is that in python i have to mention five over here because space index is five in python over here space index of in julia is six because it starts with one but over here you have to mention the last uh, like index last uh, index of the particular character basically over here you can see that one two three four 
5 so if I give over here 5 then I run it over there you can get the hello but if I give 6 and if I run it you will get the space over here also so, so basically that is the difference in python and julia in julia it starts with one and you have to give the last uh, index of their but last uh, index of the character basically. so that is the difference over here so over six and you have to give the seven also so if you give seven you'll get a w also so these are the different uh, differences in uh, Julia programming languages and suppose in Python I'm showing you in Python if you want to get the uh, last value so if I just create another cell and if I give my string and give minus one so if I give the minus one what will happen is that you will get T in Python that is showing I'm just running this cell so in Python index starts with 0 okay and 0 1 2 3 4 it starts in this way but in the reverse order it will start with minus 1 so D is minus 1 L is minus 2 R is minus 3 O is minus 4 W is minus 5 so if I just give over here minus 5 you should see 5 W and if I run this cell you should see W the similar thing you can do in Julia but in a different way basically so if I just copy this portion and if I just paste it in Julia notebook okay and if I run this suppose I run this one see bounce error like attempt to access 11 code in it string at index minus 5 so it's not happening basically in julia so <clears throat> in julia what you have to do is that you have to give end suppose you just give end over here okay you have to give end and if you run it into the last character so you can see over here you have to mention end like in python you have to mention minus 1 but over here you have tension meant and end is d so suppose you want to get the w in that case what do you have to do like end then minus 1 is a minus 2 is r minus 3 is o minus 4 is w so if i just give minus 4 and if i run it you should get w see so these are the uh, differences between the Julia programming language Python programming language in in place of the indexing and slicing and the last thing I would like to mention in Python there is a head it's a really nice trick which you can use to reverse a string maybe you have already know that but I just showing you so just create a new code cell okay so I just uh, write my string okay so my string and in the bracket i just give dash dash like colon colon minus one so start if you give two colons that means it select the whole string basically this whole string there is no any slicing or anything and in the last step is a step step you have given minus one so it will go in a backward direction so if you just run this cell you can see the output so whole hello world has just like reversed so hello world you can see that it just got reversed over here but in julia if you want to do the same sort of thing what you have to do is that uh, you cannot do in this way like minus one in that case what you have to do you have to just give uh, my string okay my string and the bracket you have to give something like this uh, not in the bracket basically so I just uh, so you have there is a particular function called reverse 
reverse function and in, in the function you have to give the my stream and if you run this cell you will get the same output so these are the different things in python julia i hope you like the video uh, if you like it please subscribe to my channel please like my videos and share it with others whoever you believe will be get benefited out of it and if you have any questions suggestions please uh, let me know down in the comment below it will help me out a lot thank you for watching my video i'll see you soon with the next video with more information between the python and julia programming language thank you